So now that we've checked off accounts receivables, inventory, and accounts payable, we can say that we've properly adjusted for the current assets and the current liabilities on our cash flow statement, or statement, I should say, I'm not English. Um, we can move on to our income statement now and actually add back in the non-cash expenses. So let's go ahead and get rid of this balance sheet, open up our income statement. Let me just get rid of this line right over here on the left hand side. And we have three different types of expenses. We have salaries, expense, depreciation, and income tax expense. So first off, we need to decide whether this is a cash or non-cash expense because that's gonna decide whether we're going to add it back in or not. So if we were to quickly go back to the balance sheet, you can see that there is there is no there is no salaries payable accrued liability right here. So we know that the the salaries expense was paid for in cash. And if the if the entry was actually credited to accounts payable, then we've already adjusted for accounts payable. So regardless, it's going to work. So we can go back to our income statement and say that we don't need to adjust or it's already completed because it is a cash expense. As for depreciation, depreciation is different because this is definitely a non-cash expense. We know this right off, the, right off the bat because if we have a truck like this, kind of looks like one of those like Star Wars AT-AT walkers, but I'm doing my best. It kind of looks like a truck. And of course, a long-term asset is gonna be systematically depreciated across its useful life. And let's, I'm guessing we're having $5,000 of depreciation a year. So this amount is actually a systematic, uh, or it's depreciation that's allocated in each period. And this is not, money or cash being lost or used in your corporation or company. So we're gonna have to actually add that back in. So we, let's get rid of this for a second, go to our cash flow statement, and then we can, we can quickly add to the end of it depreciation expense. I think it was five thousand dollars so we're just gonna add that back in and then if we go back to the income statement we can see that the last one is income tax expense right at the bottom for seven thousand dollars so if we're gonna decide whether it's cash or not cash we need to go to our balance sheet and our balance sheet is right here and there is no income tax payable in our liability section. So we're also going to assume that this was paid for using cash. And if it wasn't paid for cash and was paid using accounts payable again, then like I said before, accounts payable has already been adjusted for. So it's gonna work out regardless. So we can go back here and tick it off and say that the income tax has already been factored in. So the entire operating activity section is just going to come down to these four adjustments. So now at the end I can say cash from operating activities and then just figure out how much it actually is. 150 minus 41 minus 12 plus 18 plus 5 is going to be a hundred and twenty thousand dollars Just gonna double check that to make sure 150 minus 41 minus 12 plus 18 plus 5 Okay, so it's one hundred and twenty thousand dollars So that's going to be your operating activities or your cash from operating activities section and in the next presentation, I'll quickly move on to covering both investing activities and financing in that tutorial. I'll see you guys then. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate, you can like us on Facebook to receive updates, or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.